do it. Yeah. The I think the mother with the child that has cancer, I those are too hard for me. Mm -hmm. Like I, it takes me to a place that is just really difficult for me to get out of yeah. once I'm there. So I avoid them. Mm -hmm. They're not enjoyable for me to watch. They're just so painful. They're hard. They're hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get that. I'm the yeah. same way. If I do watch a sad movie, I watch something happy, enjoyable right, right after. Yes. Yeah. And I think it dep depends on the sadness, like the topic of the sadness. Mm -hmm. That specifically is just so t difficult for me. So yeah, for yeah. sure. Especially as a mother. Yeah. Well, in less than a week, we'll welcome a new season. And as Seattle lights know the Emerald City really shines in the summer months. From festivals to movies to concerts, Seattle Center is getting ready for summer. I take a look at what the center will play host to in June, July, and August. Summer is a busy time at Seattle Center. So much is happening here. To talk more about it, joining me now is Chelsea Riddick Most with Seattle Center. There's a really nice lineup for June, July, and August. What starts in June? June, June kicks off um, our, our festival series, or is it a continuation of our festival series? So it's part, we have about six festivals that will take us through the summer. It's part of our Festall Festival, Cultural Festival series. And then of course we have the Washington Brewers Festival, which this will be the first year that it's on our campus. We're really excited about that. There's more than 50 brewers that are gonna be a part of that festival, so you can sit and you can have food and there's also live entertainment and then at the end of the month there is the the big pride um, festival that takes place on our campus we're excited about that last year we saw record number uh, attendance on, on the campus they are uh, developing a uh, a new part of their program which is specifically for for children so that'll take place on our artists at the center which is our playground on the campus so and all these events and festivals are free they're all free they're all free just come and enjoy and and bring friends and family and uh, and eat and, and enjoy being a part of a part of the community all right, July, another busy month for the center, and we're in the thick of summer at that point. Yeah, so July is July is basically our concert series. Um, July 4th kicks off with our annual uh, naturalization ceremony. Uh, last year, we saw almost 500 people receive citizenship. If you haven't come down just to experience it, it is really special, it's a special event. And then we move right into the bite, of course, which is, which which is wonderful. We have almost, we have more than a hundred restaurant tours that are going to be a part of it. I want to make a note that I know last year people, people some people had had uh, had the app, and uh, some people enjoyed it, and there were others that didn't. <laughs> so this year we are we're switching it up a little bit, so you can pay with credit card, cash, or you can use you can use the app. Um, in addition to the bite, there is the uh, day in and day out. It's um, it's a concert that is um, their fourth their fourth time being on the campus produced by the uh, the same producers of the Capitol Hill Block Party. So we're super excited about that. We saw almost 10,000 people attend that event last year, so we're expecting the same. And then are the premier Afrobeats um, concert, which is Blast Fest, which is a new um, event that is on our campus. This is its second year here. Uh, but we saw almost 3,000 people attend that. So we are just, July is busy. J July is concert month, right? <laughs> That's where you come out here, you pull out your, your blanket, and you just enjoy some music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. August is a whole other beast when it comes to events here, too, and some that Seattle is used to and really love. Yes. So I will say that August is, I, I'm really excited about August because August helps, come, brings in our movies at the mural um, season. So I would say if you're interested in movies, we have a nice variety, we have musicals, we try to make sure that it is a diverse lineup. Uh, so I would say bring your bring your blanket, show up early. It's on Fridays, it starts in August on Fridays. So bring your blanket, bring your picnic basket and your friends and sip and find a place on on the mural lawn to just relax. Um, it in And also I would say that the other big event is Shoot. Oh yeah, that's the big one. That's the big one. And that <laughs> kicks off in August. Yeah. That kicks off in <laughs> August and, and I'm really excited because the producers for um, for Bumper Shoot, they are really focused on making sure 
that it's not just about the music, but it's also about the art. So we're really, I'm excited about that. Last year, uh, the Fashion District, they're bringing that back. It was really popular. This year, they're having a car show, so they're having a series of low riders that are going to be a part of the festival, and they're bringing a, a having including an animation district this year. In animation, if you're an artist, that's one of the fastest growing mediums in in the art world. They're going to have panelists. They're going to have um, installations. So we're we're really excited about the return of Bumper Shoot this year. Oh, so is everybody else too. For those people that are watching and want to bring their kids, do you encourage families to come to most of these events? I would encourage fam. Uh, here's the thing about being on Seattle Center's campus: you can come to an event, and if for some reason you're you don't want to go to that event, we have over. 30 resident organizations that are here on our campus. And then you also have the beautiful greenery. So if you're not going to an event, then take a blanket and sit out on our lawn. But most of our events, if they're if they're not free, they're ticketed, but they are all family friendly. And there's enough space, so much variety. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. All right, we're looking forward to a great summer here at Seattle Center. Chelsea, thanks so much. Thank you. Back to you. There's, be fun. there's so much to do over there.